I took my family to watch a movie yesterday, The Sound of Freedom, and yesterday I couldn't even find the words, and I still don't really think I can to express how I feel, how it made me feel. My question is, though, is how come there ain't no actors or politicians or anybody promoting that movie? They didn't want this movie to get out. Now, this movie has already been made for five years, but the media and everyone else in Hollywood did not want it to come out. So it's taken five years for these people to get this movie out into theaters. I had a video I just did last week that got banned from TikTok because they found a barge full of children off the coast of California. Misinformation. This is the world we are living in, and this has to stop. The media seems to tell the public not to see the movie that it involves conspiracy theories. See, this is one of those things where you have to do it just because they told you not to. There's something hidden in there that you need to see that they don't want you to see. This is not a far-fetched idea. 85,000 children just went missing at the border. That's like two football fields worth of people. Every day, millions of children around the world are taken from their parents and they're sold into sex slavery, with the United States being one of the primary destinations. Then when you see the statistics, 22 million new child pornography pictures uploaded on the internet just in the last year, a 5,000% increase in the last five years, and the whole concept about the fact that this is a $150 billion year industry, like $150 billion year industry, it says you sell cocaine one time, but you can sell a child five to 10 times a day for 10 years. Look how profitable that is. And just last year, two million kids were taken for human trafficking. And that's what this film exposes. And guess who's the largest consumer of this market? It is the United States of America. This is happening like right now as we speak. We're, we're ignoring just, it. Yeah, we're just ignoring it. The emotions literally have left me speechless. There's frustration, there's sorrow. And this was a movie that a week ago, none of us knew existed. It took Tim Ballard years to get this movie finally streamed because all of these streaming services did not want to stream his movie. Make it make sense. If you aren't already awake, wake up. Disney. Paró esta película por cinco años y ahorita está unos cuantos meses, no sabemos cuándo la van a quitar. Pero si tú, a ti te importan tus hijos, si te importan los niños del mundo, por favor, comparte este mensaje. Have you heard anything about the other movie theaters? Not um, AC not working? Like the, other, like the other houses? No, well, like around the whole country, different theaters. In this movie only, the AC doesn't work. It's like super oh, stiff. Oh, really? Yeah, you oh, should, you no, should look, yeah, on, I didn't, I didn't you should look online. It's like, no, it's insane. It's, anything, it's probably just... <laughs> I don't know. I know it's, it's been very popular. So the more people you have in a theater, the more the, uh, different. Yeah, we've, we've been going it's to so movie openings yeah, our whole it's life, so and weird. it's never happened. Yeah. It's yeah. Super, super weird. Um, here's those four for you guys. Okay. Yeah. It's all that. Thank you. So my girlfriend and I went to go see The Sound of Freedom in theaters on the Fourth of July, and we've been to this theater many times. It's always been a pretty good experience. This particular time was really uncomfortable to sit through. It was there was no AC running. It was unbearably hot. So I go out and I ask if they can turn the AC on and they told me that it wasn't working. I went to go see it on Thursday, July 6th. Here's my ticket from Fandango. And when we got into the theater, it was super hot. Like the AC was broken. I had to take out a fan or make a fan out of like the nachos things that I had bought because it was so hot. I went to a AMC out here in St. Lucie, West Florida, and just our theater alone, that theater room had no AC. The rest of the theater had AC. And when we got there, it was, it was hot, it was warm. And my husband's like, they don't have the air on. And I'm like, no, it's fine. It, it's probably just because there's so many people in here. And then I realized that there literally is no air circulating at all. There's AC in the restroom. There was AC in the hallway, there was AC in the lobby area, and I hear a manager telling another customer, so sorry, our AC was out and we just got it fixed. Got in there, sat down, and I was like, it's really hot in here. Through the movie, I did not move from my seat even though I was dripping with sweat. Didn't think about it once until I started seeing all these videos about how there was no AC in there. There was no AC. Some point today, 
the tickets got refunded to my friend and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyways to the theater after dinner and they're like, oh, well, we refunded all the tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theaters. Okay, whatever, we don't care. Are you still showing it? Yeah, you can, you can still watch it. So we get to thinking, why did they not send out a notice in the email saying, hey, we refunded your tickets because there's no air conditioning. There was air conditioning in the lobby. There was air conditioning in the hallways. There was air conditioning in the bathrooms, not the theaters. I smell something stinky. Fire alarm goes off and people still watch the movie. They can't stop the truth. About an hour into the movie, this is at an AMC, um, an hour into the movie, we see this, what looks like smoke and this horrible smell. It smelled almost like an electrical fire. Come to find out it was one of their projector bulbs was was really heating, overheating somehow and the exhaust pipe was messed up. It like fell and so all the smoke was pouring into the theater. 30 minutes before the movie ending, um, we heard someone yell out, get down or, you know, something like that. But it caused a chaos, a panic. People yeah. started jumping over the seats, rushing out of the movie theater. There was only one um, exit. One exit, people were frightened, you know, yelling, screaming, crying. Um, so make a long story short, I don't know what's going on with this movie, but everybody needs to go out and watch it. Go watch The Sound of Freedom, 10 out of 10 movie. We need to shed light in this situation. Honestly, it lit a fire under me where I want to help more save these kids and do something about it. This is our generation that needs to speak up. We need to make a stand for this. We have to be the change. We have to be the voices. I can make a change and I can inspire at least one person to go watch this video and it could trickle down and we can make a change. I love you all. Be blessed and let's be this change. One of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking and particularly the trafficking of children. Now the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. So as you can see from all those testimonials, this movie is shaking things up and there are people that do not want you to see this. This film has been discredited and seemingly sabotaged and silenced. You've got to realize that Sound of Freedom was finished five years ago. It was initially owned by 20th Century Fox, but then Disney purchased Fox, acquired the rights to the film, and then shelved it they would not release this movie. Yes, Disney. I wonder why they wouldn't want to release a movie on child trafficking. Eventually, Angel Studios bought the rights to the film and they were finally able to release it into theaters. This is why you need to see this film, because they don't want you to see it. By packing the theaters, you are making a statement to Hollywood that you do care about this issue and that the public is not just going to sit by while these things continue to happen in our own backyard. So what do we do? How can you fight child trafficking? Obviously not everyone can go storm the jungle in a high stakes rescue operation. So first of all, you want to see this movie and you want to spread awareness. Awareness is the first step. Then you want to do your research. Find out what to look for in your own area that may be signs of trafficking. If you see any of those warning signs, report them. Another big one is prey. The power of prayer is severely underestimated. And then besides doing fundraisers, volunteering in organizations, and petitioning for action from local officials, there is one thing you can do at home that no one wants to talk about. While I was looking at the reviews for Sound of Freedom, someone said something that stuck out to me. They said the sad thing is that many people after watching this film are just going to go right back home and watch pornography. We can be quick to judge others, but we've all played a part in feeding this system one way or another, directly or indirectly. This was a light bulb moment for me because I learned that child predators don't just wake up one day with pure evil in their hearts. 
they slowly become desensitized over time, seeking to reach new highs of pleasure as they descend deeper into more extreme forms of addictions, all fed by pornography. Some people end up in very dark places and eventually seek actual trafficked victims, including children. And not all people, but many of the people in the pornography industries are actually trafficked. It's a dangerously soupy industry where those who consent and those who don't get mixed up very easily. Most people are willing to speak up against child trafficking, not so much pornography. But the trafficking and pornography industries are fueling one another more than you may realize. And as long as there continues to be demand, there will continue to be supply and people will continue to make lots of money at the expense of others. So what can we do? We have to stop feeding this evil system at the level of the consumer. And you may think, well, how many people actually watch pornography? It can't be that big of an issue. In America alone, six out of every 10 people confess that they have watched pornography at some point. 40% of Americans watch it on a regular basis. Many start as young as 11 years old. America is the number one producer of pornography and the number one consumer when it comes to child trafficking specifically. Today, these websites receive more traffic in the US than Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Netflix, Pinterest, and Zoom combined. I've personally struggled with pornography and many people in my own church have struggled with it. So it's a bigger issue than we realize or at least want to admit. And I say all that to say, we can catch predators and save children all day, but unless we address this issue at the root, the problem of human trafficking will just keep getting worse. If you really wanna fight this evil, make a stand in your own home. Say no to pornography. Get help if you are struggling. Find someone you can trust that can walk this out with you. I can testify that there is freedom in Jesus, and that freedom is available for everyone. If you want to check out my sources, they are all linked in the description. And if you want to watch Sound of Freedom for free, the link to claim free tickets is in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed life and go see Sound of Freedom.